Tip number four, use Kirchhoff laws to solve problems related to circuits. So just a quick reminder of what Kirchhoff laws are. The first law is the conservation of charge. It means that when you have a current going in side a junction, so it's going this way, it splits in two, I1 and I2. The first law of Kirchhoff says that the sum of the currents going in equals the sum of the currents going out. The second law of Kirchhoff states that within a loop, the sum of the potential differences in the loop equals zero. What does this mean? Well, if I have a circuit with different elements, so I've got a current like this, it says that the sum of all the potential differences when I go around the loop equals zero. So here it would be the EMF minus V1 minus V2 equals zero. Now, these two laws allow you to find uh, uh, relationships in a circuit. I'll give you an example. In this example, we have a circuit with two resistors in series, which are in parallel with a resistor R. What is asked from us is to find the EMF and to find the resistor R. The, current, the main current is 3 amps. The current going through the first branch is 2 amps. Well, I get to use the first law of Kirchhoff to find out what current is going in the second branch. Well, 3 amps equals 2 amps plus 1 amp. So I2 equals 1 amp. Yeah? Now I get to use the second law because I want to find the EMF. So I'm going to consider this loop. Well, the EMF will be epsilon. I travel along the loop. Ah, I meet a resistor with a potential drop equals to uh, uh, Ri, so 4 by 2, 8 volts. I continue my trip and I find another potential drop. The current is 2 amps, the resistor is 5 ohms, so minus 10 equals 0. And that will give me the EMF, 18 volts. Now I need to find the resistor R, where I can again use the loop law. Let's take, for instance, this small loop. So I start here, and I go around the loop. What I see, I see a potential increase in this direction of 2 by 5, 10. I continue, 4 by 2, 8, plus 8. And then I go there, and I find a potential decrease, which would be equal to V, or go O, R, I, 2, equals 0. Right? So I have R I2 equals 18. I2 is 1 amp, so I know that R equals 18 divided by 1. 18 ohms. So here you would have 18 volts, right? Well, notice that you've got 18 volts here, 18 volts for this sum, and 18 volts there. This is also a proof to see, that, to see that when you have two resistors in parallel, the potential drop across them is the same. So Kirchhoff laws have got a huge amount of resources to solve problems. Remember them. Sum of the currents in equals sum of the currents out, first law. Sum of the potential differences within a loop in a circuit equals zero, second law.